today on the spot it's our live thanksgiving show and we're bringing you a healthy feast of demos including donkey kong country returns cabela's dangerous hunts 2011 epic mickey our own custom game spot trivia on buzz quiz world some multiplayer action for call of duty black ops and finish it off with some dancing with michael jackson the experience on the wii we're live today on the spot live edition of today on the spot it's thanksgiving week so we figured we would guys we would give you guys a very fun sort of like a very much not regular version of today on the spot yes. sophia we've got games we have food in the background exactly this is uh you know you'll notice we're not in our normal set here we're behind the scenes in the game spot offices we've got a literal and figurative feast of thanksgiving goodness coming your way today but uh first why don't we start off with our first demo of the show Donkey Kong Country returns courtesy of Tom and Giancarlo. Yes, I, I am here with Tom McShay, who just recently reviewed the game. Yes. It seems like you really liked it. Yeah, it was a good yeah. game. Yeah, so we're going to jump into, into the forest area. Now, is there any particular reason why we're going here? Any, you, you really like the forest levels, or what's the deal here? I don't have a good reason to answer for that. Yeah. I like all this game, and this is, this is called Wigglevine. It is. So it Wiggle seems like Vine. a good, good place to start. Wigglevine is an awesome name. Now let's talk a little bit about just, you know, this game obviously is very much a Donkey Kong Country game. Um, similar to the style of the original Rare games that appeared on the Super Nintendo. But oh, yeah. what's, what's different this time around? <laughs> well, it's much better. No, oh, that's it's, good. Uh, the controls are better than those games, but it's also the level design. It's just, it's brilliant in this. Like, that's the thing that's really awesome about it. Now, for all you guys watching at home, you can email us questions at onthespot at gamespot.com, and we will try to get those answered for you. And also, stay tuned to the end of the show. We have trivia prizes to give away. Some golden sun goodness, but we don't want to spoil it just yet. So be sure to stay tuned to the very end, and we'll be giving out trivia questions. Whoa. Did I die oh. by touching the top of that? You did. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> So, and people can see at home that we are playing cooperatively here. Um, oh, geez, why? Why? <laughs> wait, did you just like appear up there? I think I did. I Should know, I wait for you? Should I just let you die? Well, <laughs> don't let me die. Who's inside the? Okay, one, two, three. Go. Da. Ooh. Right. Awesome. You know, Carlo, you're lucky because normally monkeys in the wild don't have jetpacks. They don't. Um, but they do love bananas, so this game is quite, in fact, <laughs> accurate to real life. It's, a, it's an authentic scientific representation of the life of gorillas and monkeys. Indeed. So one thing I wanted to point out is that we're playing cooperatively here. Um, when you play in single player and you have, oh, you're going to die again. There you go. When you have Diddy and Donkey on the screen at once, um, Donkey Kong can actually use Diddy's jetpack, coconut jetpack, I believe is the proper scientific term. Is it fueled by coconut? No, I think, well, maybe. <laughs> okay. I'll have to update my Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong fan fiction. <laughs> Which is vast, it's vast. and comprehensive. It really, is. it really fills in all the details, such as, what's going on with Candy Kong? Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, what is her deal? <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal with Candy Kong? You wrote about 20,000 words on her. Yeah. Can I go underneath there, you think? I think I can. You Let me go underneath should. there. Oh, jeez. Come back in the, uh, the secret barrel. Can I stick my head all right, up? All right. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You got a countdown and everything. This game's very impatient. So yeah, the difference is that you get you get the jetpack and I'm just a, just an ordinary monkey now. Yeah. Wearing a tie, but pretty ordinary. Yeah. I feel compelled to point out that Donkey Kong is uh, he's a gorilla. I think. No tail. Yes, this is true. He does not have the prehensile tail. <laughs> he has a post-hensile no, tail. No, jeez. I'm not paying attention. I thought I was Donkey Kong. <laughs> Everyone always does. Oh. Come back, come back. I, I'm coming there you are. Don't shake. Let, don't let me die. Just shake it. There you go. All right. You can't. I mean, you can't really hate this game. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you can't. If you, if you, if you, I mean, maybe if you hate apes, you hate gorillas. Well, yeah. This this game is just 
is just awesome. The thing that I like most about it is that, you know, it's developed by Retro Studio, so it kind of has that attention to detail that that studio is known for, just in the visuals and stuff, so... Oh, God, no. Ooh. You got to jump a little, a little better there. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, Come on, no! guys. You are slacking. Oh, jeez. Oh. That was sad. I, bl was I blame so you fun. completely. Well, let's go to a different level, then. Yeah, let's go to a different level. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's pretend that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Tom, I feel compelled to point out that we can't pretend that didn't happen because this, this is a live version of it. Today on the Spot. I could swear right now, but I won't because I respect you guys too much as viewers. But I'm just saying I could. Don't, don't say and you would you hear it. take back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Sophia probably will, at least a few times. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. Um, anyways, uh, let's try a new level. Again, all the viewers out there, you guys can email us questions at onthespot at gamespot.com. And remember, these are all games that you guys requested, so we're playing them because you want to see it. That's right. Uh, we actually put out a call for what games people wanted to see, and we've got a just a pretty good variety of games. We've got uh, you know Donkey Kong Country Returns. We've got Epic Mickey. Yes. We've also got some wild cards yet. in there, some, uh, some games that you probably aren't <laughs> expecting. It'll be an entertaining there show. Will be, uh, ah. There will be shooting. See ya. Um, there, there will, will be, be a ma <laughs> There will be <laughs> dancing. <laughs> there will be Tom dying. Man, the, did he ditch me? I'd just like to point out that Tom has already played through these levels. <laughs> yeah, Tom kind of has an unfair advantage here. Yeah, but no. I keep dying anyway. <laughs> no. Clearly, I am the superior Donkey Kong player. Possibly. Tom, if I've got... $50 in my pocket right now. Do I buy this one or uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn? This one. This one? Do you have $50 in your pocket? Um, I, have, the $50. I have literally $1 in my pocket. Oh. You shouldn't be buying games. <laughs> I, sh I should be trying to buy groceries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hang on, what hang on. Oh. What did you do? I don't, I'm, I'm still alive. Did you? You're not alive. Oh. I think you were alive. So you'd rather play this co-op oh, than play Kirby co-op? Well, Wait, something's going I'm kind here. of selfish. I don't want to play either co-op. Not a like, fan he's of just dragging, not a team He's player. just dragging me down <laughs> over there. Look at him. Tom's not a team player. <laughs> All right, them's fighting words. <laughs> now you're going to touch me. No. No. <laughs> Keep up, then. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intentionally going to leave you behind. <laughs> no. Man, I didn't realize the griefing potential of this game. So that's what happens when you play with other people. John Carlo, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you play with other people named John Carlo Baranini. There's not many of us. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Let's try and let's show them something special, that sunset level where it's all cool and, and stylized sure. and you can only see... Their ties. And okay, you just you're, you're kind of ruining the surprise oh, of this geez. level. You just explained the whole thing. Well, they kind of they showed it at E3, so it's not. We could show a variation of that one. You want right. to show a variation? Yeah. Let's see a variation. Let's see it, guys. I do I do not know this area. Really? I think it's the first one. This is the part oh. of the jungle where they build rockets, obviously. <laughs> oh, I think I think I saw you play this. You level. saw me this play is, this. This one. one's pretty crazy. Is this? I like to spoil a game. This is already seven one. Yeah. This is uh, this is most. Why don't you just take us to the end boss? Are you guys, wait, hold on, are you guys playing Limbo right now? A little bit. See, you're, not gonna get, you're not going to get, like, killed by saws, are you? Well, that, that's, that could happen, actually. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> are just, saws, you are yeah, playing Limbo! Oh, God! There's a giant spider, oh my God, he, okay. Hang on. Does nope. this, Hang on. Does this nope. level have a gore filter? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is, oh. this is ridiculous. I don't know what's happening right now. This is what you're supposed to do, sucker. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I like this level. Did the other ones bore you, Sophia? Well, I like the silhouette thing. It looks it's like a nice Bender touch. from Futurama's head. <laughs> this power red <laughs> Nice. It's like a pogo stick made of Bender's head. Oh, we're in the background. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just going for broke. <laughs> we gotta do something really impressive in the next, like, 30 seconds before we're cut. There we go. That was impressive. There's a green pig. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I believe that I'm makes really me champion of the Donkey Kong universe guys, because I died last. I'm proud of you. You gave it your best, but ultimately you died. I'm sorry. Anyways, moving on to the next segment. Let's take a look at new releases.
This week's new release slate isn't quite a cornucopia of blockbusters, but it does include two hotly hyped exclusives. Championing the week is the release of Gran Turismo 5, the long-awaited off-delayed PlayStation 3 racing simulator from Polyphony Digital. GT5 will feature close to a thousand vehicles on more than 70 tracks in 20 plus locations. With a massive budget of $60 million, it's also an official licensee of several major racing circuits such as NASCAR and the World Rally Championship. Another prominent system exclusive due out this week is Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Nintendo Wii. The title was developed by Retro Studios, the outfit behind the Metroid Prime series. The 2D platformer sees Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong return to action with many of the DKC series familiar trappings, from banana collecting and minecart racing to being shot out of barrels. The Wii exclusives don't stop there. Also due out this week is Raving Rabbids Travel in Time. From Ubisoft, the zany title follows the neurotic, rabbit-like creatures as they use a time washing machine to go back in time and alter history to their liking. The King of Pop will once again hold court this week as Michael Jackson The Experience makes its debut. While the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions of the title won't ship until 2011, the Wii, DS, and PSP versions are out on Tuesday. The title displays the breadth and depth of Michael Jackson with players dancing and singing along to some of the most famous songs. For further details on this week's games, visit GameSpot's new releases page. Release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Hey, and we're back in our next game, actually. It's a special game for the GameSpot editors. It's Buzz Quiz World. Yeah, yeah, so this yeah. is a PS3 trivia game where you can actually customize your own questions. That's right, and it's, it's a game that's been out for a while. We will admit that. But what's brand new is a special custom trivia set of questions that we designed ourselves that are specifically related to facts about the GameSpot editors that you guys might not be aware well, of. Well, just note, they're designed by some like other people other than you guys. We didn't know. Otherwise, we didn't it wouldn't be fair. That's true, yes. We All don't right. know the so answers. You guys can just jump on in. There's like right. a set of, there's two sets of questions. Um, I'm that guy. Good luck. Kevin is Superman. Man, check me <laughs> out. I'm hot. Oh, Tom. Oh, Kevin got to be Superman? Bastard. All right. It's Superman. It's oh, it's Superman. Superman. Oh, who okay. spelled my name wrong? Buzz did. There was a limited amount of options. Oh, also, God. Also, Ricardo chose it. Oh. You're lucky you even got your real name. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not really using the buzz button. You're going yeah, to use the four. Use the four? You're going to use the four face okay. buttons for this one. Okay. Cool. There is a point where you have to buzz in, I'm guessing, now. Don't out on a limb on that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of buzzing <laughs> in. <laughs> Oh no. I, maybe? Hey. Oh, hey! Hey! I knew I knew that answer because I was that answer. Laura has done it on no, all you seven are. continents. You're clearly you two down. different people. Parker. C and Sean. Are True. C and Sean. Zero. Ah, oh, that's right. I did dress up. Oh no. Just this could be. This could be oh, anyone. Wow. Ooh, gosh. I'm going to go with the person who's not my boss. <laughs> Lark it is. Who is it? Oh, Randy, Randolph Ramsey from GameSpot Australia. You are officially and forevermore the We're worst. We're him because he's not here to defend himself. Yeah, sorry. Is that true or is that a lie? That's I, probably who knows. Who knows? Cause I'm, I'm pretty bad. Oh. Oh, oh what? Geez. I don't know anyone's birthday. I know that I know that Brendan has a birthday. So does I'm gonna go with him. Does this okay? <laughs> I don't know if that's As opposed to me. Andrew and Jody, they don't have birthdays. I don't know that. Does, does, does Sophia even have a birthday? Yes. Oh, you got yeah. that. Hey! How many people get that right? We pay attention. Does it not? <laughs> what are the, what's their birthday? Uh, the Star the Wars day. day. Star, Star Wars, Wars day? day? Yep. Star Wars onions. Oh, I know. <gasps> this actually presented itself with yes, the salsa did. dip over in our Thanksgiving food spread. No, I was like, Tyler, Yeah, it's a good thing Tyler didn't uh, collapse into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> I also now know that it's today. a onion. Way to go, Tyler. Yes. Stay alive. I just got down to last place with that one, thanks to Tyler. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. I don't know. These oh, are... You know what? I got it wrong. I know the... I, I... Whoa, no, you didn't. Oh, oh we all got it right. Who did you think it was? Oh, I thought maybe it was Andrew after I... No. You're always doubting yourself, Kevin. Try it. I know, I always second guess myself. Who? Who packs? The most amount of stuff on the phone. <laughs> both. <laughs> hey, come on, it's both. I think we know the answer yeah. to this one. Follow up question. This 
Who? The largest luggage I've ever laid my eyes on. Two full sizes. Also, he buys new luggage everywhere he goes so that he can continually add to that collection. I don't usually measure my luggage okay. space based on what did you think how many of those questions. Sorry. Your ratings I oh, well, is this like? Whoa! Oh, is this like double clear, jeopardy? Clear on that Since I did not feature in any of the questions. Okay. Yeah. This battle of the homemade quiz yeah, is over. Yeah, really. Let's see the yes. final positions. Did I didn't see a single Kevin on left that list behind. <laughs> at any point. This is another set you can work with. Second. And our chance. Oh. oh, look at me, I'm doing the same. Oh. Check this out. Is over. Pretty good, huh? What an epic it was. But is there, is there another you thing we made, or is this just two? Okay. There's two. Should we try to spin, spin up the other one? Yeah, let's spin up yeah. the other one. All right, Buzz, quiet down. You guys realize that I'm going to win again, try for right? Try Fruxforce's game? Yes. Is this the right thing? Should be. Fresh quizzes? Yeah. Or there should be my quiz. Well, no. We'll we chose a different There was no fresh choice quizzes. for my. Uh, we might be ending up with a random user quiz. Which, which would be which awesome. Oh, All right. I think it's a trivia <laughs> marathon. Abort. Our players Abort. are back for oh, more quizzing. Oh, we have regular controllers. Sean, it's fine. Again. You guys there can play that got too. Got We've got, got, got time. Got oh, we got time? You have to hit all four buttons together to abort in this game. <laughs> I played a lot of Buzz. The Tom's a professional. No, not really. I don't want to brag. Especially after that whole semi-literate <laughs> episode <laughs> way through that last quiz. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Is this the one? Yeah. The there we go. All right, I'm happy now. Right. My name better be in here somewhere. Yeah. Also, my name better be in here <laughs> spelled correctly. Hey, I just took the questions that people submitted. Please join me and give it up. This is very bland. I, there, there's really not a whole lot to say about it. Uh -huh. Which GameSpot editor has killed a uh, tiger with his bare hands? Kevin Van Ord. If not, no, there's bare chains. Profile by using the colored button. Load profile? It's a disable profile. Yeah. You want load profile? Oh. Oops. For those of you guys that are watching who want to send in questions about the GameSpot ed editor, you guys can send them in to onthespot at gamespot.com and maybe they'll answer them. I don't know. Here's your chance to ask. I just moved twice. And I'm over on the left. I'm, okay, so Kevin's player one now. Ow. What button do I press to load it? The green the button? button? The big red button. <laughs> oh, the big, the big button? Okay. All right, cool. Green it is. Oops. There's a big, do you want to hit the buzz button, <laughs> You can make changes to your I've never used one of these things before. Very confident. I'm ready. Okay, we're ready to go. I got like a better than four, because that's the worst you, you can possibly do. do. Yeah. Before <laughs> we unleash I was embarrassed for you. The thing is, I'm really it's good at the custom quizzes that users make about like their cats or what they think about like fourth grade. What yeah. brand of paper board. towel do I prefer? <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys are taking too long, so we have to wrap it up and move on to the next segment. For the occasion. Sure. Okay. Sean, okay. Yeah. we're going to take it away. Buzzing again. Right, that's everyone. This week on, on PC, we take show. a look at two indie games, Chrono Rage and But That Was Yesterday. Then we take a look at your downloads of the week. Chrono Rage is a fast-paced shoot-em-up developed by Anima Game. The first thing that stands out in Chrono Rage is the game. art style, which has a very Space Invaders theme. In the background is a big vortex from which all of your enemies spawn from. As you progress through each level, the colors and music tempo change, keeping you always in a fast-paced battle. Your main weapon consists of two blasters that can be temporarily upgraded when upgrade ships appear. If you upgrade high enough, you will get access to a larger laser that can be combined with your secondary weapon, which is a time freeze. This time freeze allows you to move around freely as your enemies stay put, giving you the upper hand when facing 30 or more enemies. There is a short demo available for Chrono Rage, which can unlock the full version for $9.99. The demo is available on the GameSpot downloads page. Next, we have a casual browser game called But That Was Yesterday, created by Michael Molinari for the casual gameplay design competition. You follow a character who tries to move on from the happy and sad memories that he's experienced. The gameplay is simple as you use the arrow keys to navigate your linear path. The visuals are simple yet effective. 
using dark and secondary colors to convey your character's emotions. Overall, the game sucks you in emotionally as you relive each memory. The game is browser-based and requires a Flash plugin to work. And now for your downloads of the week. Two Worlds 2 has been updated to version 1.0.1. .1. The patch includes crash fixes to both single and multiplayer, gameplay fixes, and more. Read the readme for details. Zombie Driver Blood Race has been updated to version 1.2.2. .2. The patch includes an added Blood Race game mode, a new map, enhanced car physics, and more. Read the readme for details. A demo for Create has been released and is now available at the GameSpot downloads page. I'm Marco Martinez, and that's it for this week on PC. All right, so that was your look at what's coming to the PC this week, and our demo train just keeps on rolling. As I mentioned, we have some surprise demos hey, for you it's... guys, and surprise number one, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. And I think the surprise is going to be whether or not Ricardo and Ryan can figure out that gun controller. We're going to figure it out. We're just totally going to figure it out. It's happening right now <laughs> as we speak. All right. So, so I can tell you about this game while we're figuring it out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like I should ask, how does this fit into the Thanksgiving theme of the show, Ryan? There's awesome things that you can shoot. There's lots of things that you can and, shoot in this game and then eat for Thanksgiving, technically, right? Technically, if they were really, you'd eat them. You could eat them, yeah. Ryan this is, is how you kill a bear. Life, yes. we should say. I, I, I have shot and ate things. What is this, Blair Witch? So this is the neat thing about this game is it actually has a storyline. From at least 1982? The story well, it starts out, it's, it's setting it up, right? There's like there's, there's an incident that happens, and then you are then motivated throughout the rest of the story. So like right here, there's going to be some deadly awesome thing that is going to basically come at you, uh, and I think right. it's going to kill your brother or your father. Cool. I think your father. It happens. Yeah. So yeah, so you can see it's, it's almost like a, this isn't like your typical hunting game. This is like a first person shooter. So you use the left stick to walk. This guy right, over here. I'm walking. Yeah, some walking on. Cool, oh. maybe I'm not walking so much. Maybe not. There we go. There you go. Apparently we're playing together. Sweet. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your legs. All right. All right I don't so know how this worked out, but so it's all good. There are people around us, so you should keep an eye on them. All right. And they will lead us if we follow up with them. Shoot those two guys. They look shifty. These dudes I, are right. I just have a flashlight right now. I am sorry. You can yeah. shoot them with a flashlight by throwing it at their head. We're gonna try to it's not an option. Let's see okay. if we keep uh, pointing the direction we're moving there. All right, we are jamming now. This, this is the climactic cutscene where... Oh, no! Look at that. that. Oh, what? It. Shoot it! Wolf shoot with red it in eyes. the face! Wolf with red eyes. you got to watch oh out with them. Oh, God. That's Cujo. That is Cujo. Cujo. Look at that thing. Vicious. So that happened in 1982, right? Cool. So now, today... So 18 years you, later. You're like, see, Rite of Passage. That's why the level's called Rite of Passage. Because now you're older, and now it's time for payback. You can Was go I, get, like, really young? I think you were youngish, yeah. Okay. So now you're going to go get that thing. You're going to jack them. Choose between Classic and Red Lens Hunter Sense. Okay. So, so that's the other thing that comes with this game. We should talk about this awesome gun, right? Which we are not able to... <laughs> no, So, but if you look, that's why they're talking about this red thing, is if you look in there, it's red, obviously. Oh, yeah. And I think there's a weird part of the game where it does the whole crazy... Remember the thing? Or it was like a code, and you had to have the right red lens, and you put it on the magazine, and then you could see what the secret message is. I know this is back to Transformers, but sure, why not? So, so the same thing happens with this gun. So in the game, there are, you know, That's parts that are... Sense? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's parts that are all messed up, and you got to use the, the red lens. So, Sean, does this look like Seattle? Right now, I guess so, yes. All right. Lots of rocks and trees, and reminds me of my homeland. Are there lions there? There are lions, yes. And I guess we should say... This is where Brian is now. This is where, where our good buddy Brian Eckberg lives right now. And in the wilderness. And this is probably the kind of stuff he does in his free time. This is, yeah. This is it's kind of a slow build-up, i got to say. Uh, you know, you're going to be shooting in no time at all, let me tell you. Right, so, so there's the dude that's obviously older. But he's, so he's the not dead one. He's the not dead right. one. He could be the so who died? horribly mauled one, I don't know. Is it like my dad? It was like your dad, yeah. All right. And say, you know, you have to pay attention. <laughs> so, so they, they're about to say, all right, you're going to go this way, I'm going to go this way. Okay. We're going to do this thing. Okay. We're going to kill this stuff. And then you will go and kill stuff. Hopefully, yes. Said he's, like, he's not into it. So for those folks watching at home, we can't actually hear the audio of this game right now, so let's we'll make up our own dialogue. Sure. That dude's like, I'm, there's no way I'm walking up that hill. You know how far that is? Oh, my God, I'm so cold right now. Yeah, I did not wear long johns today. Oh, what happened to Zion? <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe he, that was from the thing. The wolf? Maybe it was just a vicious attack. All right. There's some nice lip syncing there. That's a pretty good business. All right. We're going to shoot something? Uh, the looking around is, yes, yeah, see, this is the part of the game where it does the whole mold okay. into actually moving. All right. Look at that. 
right, I L three. All right, L three. Here comes you. Where's my objective? Uh, I don't know, but L three doesn't work. Oops! Don't I shoot. Just <laughs> 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 don't shoot those dudes. Who is the? Who is the yeah, it's just like the vice president that shot that dude. So we shoot three icicles. Oh, are we? Yeah, that's what it says. Where the ice? Oh, is it them? I, no. I bet you if you turn around and look up the thing above us, they're uh, like hanging. See. Oh, maybe not. Look Have you guys through. killed anything yet? <laughs> We're going to kill some. Oh, oh my God. His icicle. Ricardo's going to kill his icicle. There's another one right there. Kill it. I got it. It's coming right, right at us. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right I need you to us. kill a live oh, beast. Oh, you're going to go after that one? I got you. All right. <laughs> And now I'm shooting. Is that bird poop? <laughs> yeah, there you go. L2. L2. All right. There you go. This is your L2. Pretty oh. sure that's bird poop. So this, how is it possible that we're playing with two controllers, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. I'm literally I, I zooming we, in for them. I think we. You didn't zoom. Okay. There you go. Let me no. see. Look at that. Oh wait, maybe. Uh, oh wait, there's stuff over there. All right. Get it. Getting. Are we at mistletoe? No. Three hanging fruits. What kind of fruit hangs from a tree in the dead wait, of winter? Wait. Now. Hey, it's just like Thanksgiving. We'll just say those are turkeys. There you go. Change your guns. Right, Triangle. Oh, that's me. Huh? I got to change your guns for you. So there you go. Shotgun now. That's a pistol. That's not going to work. I'm going to change you up to... <laughs> There's your shotgun. Go. <laughs> I'm not... I'm kill them. Boom. Kill them and eat them. Boom. We're going to go Punch hungry it. this day. Throw those <laughs> guns down and kill those birds with Get your bare hands. At this point... Oh. oh. It's all right. There'll be more to come. <laughs> this is the part where they diss you. <laughs> it's like, oh, way to go. Well, here's the problem. You recruited a hobo to help you. <laughs> that dude has one eye. He, yeah, like most hobos. No death perception. <laughs> <laughs> no games Why did they give him a gun? Uh, I don't know. Some, I don't and look, that just kids at home, not proper handling of gun, dude on no. the left. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, how do you think he lost his eye? I think it was that big red-eyed wolf. Oh, wait. He just he hit the camera. Was... Breaking the fourth wall. I, I love how our demos always turn into us just, like... <laughs> Ignoring stuff? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. L1, so, point the camera in the direction of your next objective. All right, that's you. That is, all right, so I'm pointing us in the right direction. Okay, go. All right, we're going. It says, follow Samson. Oh. That's highlighted. That is highlighted. I think I could shoot it. You shoot it. Oh, I'm crouch. crouch underneath it. All right. A stunning animation for crouching. There's a, and incidentally, anybody that's running at home, there's a better co-op mode where you both can control <laughs> stuff. And there's also this awesome gun that if you were playing with the gun, you could use this thing to control yourself too. Which I think is the problem. Yeah. I think it thinks we're using the gun. Actually, you know what? I don't see the, the thing that's supposed to work with the gun on. Way to go, Frank. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now the thing's on. Too late no now. So, yeah, I wonder if this means I can use the gun. The gun lights up now. <laughs> see if I can use it. Wait. Sorry, folks at home. We thought this was going to be more exciting. Because, you know, when we were messing around with it earlier, there was all kinds of stuff coming at us that we were just totally. blown away. But if you watched the first part of the show, you probably saw some lines. Those weren't there. I bet if we had <laughs> audio, that hobo is probably a really compelling character. <laughs> he is he's pissed. Look at him. Look at him. How many times am I going to tell you? That's Kevin Spacey doing the voice. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Well, we can't hear. We can't say for sure. But regardless of our funding of it, this game is actually kind of fun. Did we review this on the site? No. No? no. I'll mini review you now and say that if you like hunting games, this okay. is kind of fun. Of which there game. are many. All right, guys, so that was your look at us attempting to uh, kill an animal that we could then eat. Unfortunately, it didn't work out too well. Chris is taunting me with pie right now. Chris, what are you doing? Eating delicious pumpkin pie. How dare you. Tis the season. Anyway, so, so for something that's a little bit more directly Thanksgiving related, let's check out Kevin teaching us how to cook. Hey everybody, it's Kevin Van Oort here. KVO, I'm on the third floor of the CBS Interactive offices in our fancy GameSpot kitchen. And you know, I was thinking, I'm the resident foodie and I probably should share a few tips for you from the post-Thanksgiving time. You know what, say you're sitting there playing some games, Hunger Strikes. You might be playing something like Final Fantasy 13 with all these cutscenes. You know, you've got maybe five, six minutes to spare. What do you do? You don't want just something regular. You want something maybe a little gourmet. Well, you know what? I am here to show you the ropes. 
So today we're going to be making GameSpot's gourmet turkey sandwiches and here's what you need for the job. Number one, you obviously need your bread of choice. In this case, we're choosing fresh, fresh Italian bread. Um, you're also going to need, obviously, your turkey. Now we've got some turkey from the deli, um, but clearly you're going to want to use your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. And of course, we've got some lettuce. The best thing to do is to get some fresh radicchio. If you don't have that, any kind of greens will do in this instance. Now moving on, we've got one of the best parts of this sandwich, which is bacon. And you can use any bacon from the supermarket, but you know what? You should probably get some Applewood smoked bacon, the best thing for the job. Now in addition, we've got some blue cheese, about a quarter of a cup, but you can use as much as you want or as little as you want, if it's the case maybe, and some mayonnaise, equal amount, about a quarter of a cup, and some butter, of course, because you're going to need to butter the bread in order to get it into the grill. And last but not least, uh, we don't have a, a fully equipped kitchen here at GameSpot, but we do have this nice, lean, mean, fat grilling machine. So you don't need to be rolling in dough. You don't need to have a fully equipped kitchen to get the most out of this experience. All right, so you got all of your ingredients. The cutscene has started. Let's begin. The 13 days after we awoke were the beginning of the end. So obviously the first thing you need to do is get that bacon cooking. We don't have a full skillet here at the GameSpot offices, but you know what, we do have this fat grilling machine. So what we're gonna do first is get the bacon and get it sizzling. This is probably the best part of the sandwich. Bacon makes everything better. And as a matter of fact, so does cheese, which is why this sandwich includes both. And now while the bacon sizzles, we're gonna close the machine, lock it, and wait for the good stuff to begin. So now while the bacon is cooking, what you wanna do is combine the blue cheese with the mayonnaise. Now you want about a quarter of a cup of each, but I have a little bit more than a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise, so I'm just gonna dump in about an equal amount of blue cheese in here. And onto the counter, as the case may be. I am no Julia Child. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is mix and mash this to the best of your ability. I am using a very powerful plastic spoon for the job, but I'm sure you probably have something a little bit better in your kitchen. But you know what? This is why I chose this recipe, because even if you don't have the fanciest stuff, you can still manage to make it work. And I would say that that's about good enough. You've got the blue cheese mixed with the mayonnaise. And this is what makes this sandwich gourmet. Next step, now that the bacon is done, and this bread is done, we're gonna butter some bread. Go ahead, slather some nice butter on top of there. What you do next is drop it onto the grill. Now that it's on the grill, let's go ahead and add some of that delicious, delicious turkey on top of it. Doesn't that look good? That is your leftovers, folks. Now maybe a little bit of that bacon. That is a lot of bacon, and there's no such thing as too much. Hey, why not put a little of that, uh, that. that lettuce on there? And now, let's take that other slice of bread. On one side, go ahead and spread some of that fancy spread. Doesn't that look good? That is a lot of blue cheese and mayonnaise on there, but like bacon, you can never have too much. Go ahead. Put that on top. We're gonna go ahead and spread a little butter on top of this slice. And down the grill goes. Oopsie, wasn't that great? And now we wait for the grilling. So there you have it, about 90 seconds grilling on each side and you have a delicious GameSpot gourmet turkey sandwich using all of your delicious turkey leftovers. You know what? Sounds like the cutscene is over. It is time to go back and get back into the game. I guess the only problem is now you need to wait for the next cutscene to actually eat it. But I have no such need. I'm gonna enjoy this delicious sandwich right now. Thanks for joining. Mm. 
we're back and we've got another special game for you guys, one that you guys have requested. That's Sorry. right, guys. Uh, we heard from you overwhelmingly that you guys wanted to see Gummy Bears Mini Golf. That's right, the highly anti... Wait, hold on. One sec. No, no, yeah. no. Hold on. What? No, Sean. What? It's, it's Epic Mickey. Epic. Yes. Okay. A highly Epic. anticipated game, Epic Mickey for the Nintendo Wii. Giancarlo, Sophia, drop some knowledge on us. <laughs> So here's the cutscene. All right. <laughs> this is this is the, this is the this intro. is something new that they're trying. It's a cutscene. Yeah, new in video games. <laughs> so this is the intro cinematic. We just saw Yen Sid, the wizard from Fantasia. He was doing something crazy with this map. He just stepped out, and Mickey's all, "Hey, there's this cool brush that that wizard guy left here. So I'm gonna screw things up and get crazy." Oh, that's crazy. what Mickey does. Yeah. So, so you see the paint. It's almost like a gummy bear. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like mini golf. That is actually frightening. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a little dumb. Yeah. That's an anti freeze that you threw on, right? Yeah. Exactly. Also known as the thing. Paint there, right? <laughs> to see what had happened, but I was too late. World I Sophia, for the very few people at home who aren't familiar with Epic Mickey, what's the quick 10 second description of the game? 10 seconds, 10 seconds or less, and it's already started. Okay. You have nine seconds. <laughs> so Warren Spector uh, really wanted to bring back uh, Ep like Mickey as a star, and also Oswald the Rabbit. I don't know if how many of us actually remember the guy, but mm -hmm. um, he's also a big part of this game. So I guess the game kind of starts off, Mickey's in this wasteland, and he's armed with paint and thinner, and paint lets you kind of fill in gaps and build as you go, and then thinner takes things away. And so th it's a, kind of like, not really like super open world, but you move from one area to the next, mm -hmm. and uh, you kind of do your exploring, and you kind of paint over thin things, but everything you do has consequences. So if you're like, if you use a lot of thinner, um, that's generally the, maybe the not so great way to go by erasing everything. Right. But you can also go through the game as mainly a painter, and that kind of changes how people interact with you. Uh, like, depend, it will change like what kind of quests you get and all the NPC NPCs and how they interact with you. So this is kind of the intro. There's Oswald. So this is kind of like that long lost character that you know, Disney lost the rights to initially. But they got it back when they traded Al Michaels to NBC, I think. Giancarlo, <laughs> you remember that? I, I believe that's historically accurate. That is actually, you th that sounds like a complete lie, but it's true. Yeah. We're just going to play, yeah, Sean's always lying. We're just going to play through the first, like, few minutes of the game. We actually do have a now playing that's going to air tomorrow at 4 p.m. It's a special segment that I sit through with Warren Spector. We're going through a section of the game that's never been seen before, and it comes after the tutorial levels that we've all seen. Um, so this part, I mean, some of you guys may have seen it, but... Let's skip um, through this part. You want to skip over it? Yeah, let's Okay. But did Mickey die? I want to know. Uh, no, he's still okay, alive good. and well. There's no dying, really. It's more like erasing. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out very soon, November 30th, exclusively on the Nintendo Wii. And you've had a chance to play through some of the game, right? I have. And what's what's cool about it, especially if you're like a big Disney fan, is that um, there's a lot of nods to the, like really, really obscure nods to the rides at Disneyland and things like that. Um, so yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, if you've been on the ride, it's a small world. Just plan to see like a lot of different elements kind of mixed in. So this is sort of an alternate version of Disneyland? Yeah, it's kind of like all the lost treasures are all here, and you're kind of like going around exploring. I mean, each area, I've walked through a few of them. I mean, they're big enough that like, you won't get lost, so there's no real map, but around every corner, like you look through every nook and cranny, there's always some kind of hidden element. And uh, with Disney, it's a lot of collectibles. You know, Disney has a lot of pins, so in the game you also can collect more than 100 pins. Uh, if you're like one of those completionist types, and there's also hidden treasures that you'll find out.
So lots of health pickups as you go. Your paint and thinner kind of recharge as you go. So if you're using a lot of paint or a lot of thinner, you'll build, you'll kind of get these guardians which kind of follow you around. And these guardians can be used as like a one-stop shot to like either just thin out an entire enemy or befriend them. And that's kind of what the paint and thinner does with enemies. So if you paint them, they'll become your friends and kind of follow you around. But if you kind of erase them, then well, they're gone. <laughs> Secrets. We've mentioned some of the nods to uh, Disney characters of the past. Any nods to Warren Spector's characters of the past? Maybe some of the sewer hobos from Deus Ex? <laughs> I don't I, know. If I don't related. think I've seen sewer hobos, <laughs> but there's a lot of secret stuff in this game, so one never knows. One never does know. So I guess here's like the, every time you kind of transition into a new world, it's going to be like a 2D uh, segment like the platforming segments that you've seen before, like the Steve Boat Willie stuff. So all these little transition segments kind of uh, remind you of one an, an older Mickey cartoon. So it's kind of neat if you're a big Mickey fan. I like these tutorial things, the little 2D animations. Yeah, it's like a nice art style. Got a pretty boss mustache. That, thing. <laughs> that is an awesome mustache. And in fact, we don't want to give away all the awesome mustaches in this game, so we should probably cut it short here. Giancarlo, yeah. we heard requests from the audience that uh, they saw the arcade cabinets in the background, and they told us, why don't you guys play some of those arcade games? So you are actually being summoned I'm, right now. I'm going to do that because at the first Thanksgiving, and this is also historically accurate, right. there was a Street Fighter II machine. There, there absolutely was. So I'm going to go do that right now. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, who am I playing against? Who am I playing against? <laughs> good, good. This is, this is always epic. Yes, Street Fighter 2 and Thanksgiving. So we decided to combine this location with another thing we were doing. I was going to tell you guys, uh, or I should tell some folks at home about, I don't know if you did this thing, but like Thanksgiving is always kind of a big gaming day at my oh, house. Oh, yes. yeah, definitely. It's, like I, it's my chance to show off all the cool games that my dad like convinced him that games are awesome. Yeah. Uh, at least that's what it was when I was younger. But now it's like getting, you know, everybody over it. But first, I'm going to whip your ass. Can't all right. Let me do this. What are you doing? Oh. So I guess I could talk and play at the same time, right? Oh, dude, that's <laughs> tough. <laughs> so, I, I, I can barely do that as it. So I'll tell you what. It really kind of depends on the crowd you have over Thanksgiving as to how the game should really play out. Yeah. And like uh, for me, it always came down to. You know, two groups. I had some sports people in the house, like my brother-in-law. Uh, I got some people that are into some, like, you know, some hunting stuff, right? So you saw us playing some Capella oh, yes. action there. But, uh, but long story short, the best success I've ever had at throwing a successful video game turkey day mm -hmm. is, uh, I know this is going to sound weird for everybody, but straight up it's seen it. Box office really? smash and, like, yeah. the other scenic games. Oh, I could have killed you. And now instead it's going to oh. be trouble to not die. Do it. Oh! Uh, no! No! Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. but, but long story short, right, we'll get another match here. But long story short, seen it. That's a really yeah. good one because it doesn't require a whole lot of people. Obviously, you saw Buzz earlier, so that's a good one too. People like trivia. And like not only that, but like the Buzz one, you can get eight people going on it. Mm. The seen it, you can get I think it's like four, but really it kind of works out to eight people anyways because you like play teams like basically like two people right. on this one and whatever. And that's really easy to understand. People know movies, people know you know trivia. It's like that was an easy one. Yeah. The other, uh, so this this th Thanksgiving though, I will get to show my dad Red Dead, and I think oh, nice. that will impress him because you know some some. Nope. Some uh, some Western action, and then of course the move and the connect are going to be two big, uh, I think, stars at the house this year. Yeah, definitely. We're showing off some some 3D business, but that's obviously a little bit trickier because whatever glasses are really expensive. And sorry, everybody, right? Although I'm going to ask the, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I you're looking at me is what I'm doing. All right, in trouble now. Oh, I still had it all. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's big trouble. oh, not quite. Ryan on the comeback tip right here. Oh, sh What's up, Oh, Dave? come on! Oh! oh! <laughs> Filthy. Thank you, sir. So long story short, kind of depends on who you got over there. So think about the crowd you're going to have over there. If it's a bunch of kids, the Connect, that's obviously easy win. You know, stick some Connect adventures. Some, some Connectables. Uh, some kind of, uh, you know, Connectables is kind of like you got to get into it, the whole first part of the tutorial. That's true. Rough. No. Uh, connect Sports is a good one. The volleyball is actually a lot of fun. The soccer thing that moving that out of the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's all that business. What? 
Madden. Madden looks good. A lot of people like football. Yeah. That's an easy one America to show off. America loves football. FIFA. A lot of people FIFA like nice. soccer. Yeah. So FIFA is a good one. A lot of this stuff is in our game guide, obviously, or I should say our gamers gift bag. Uh, so yeah, people kind of know what what's out there that's cool. I think GT5 obviously is going to be an interesting one because like that game, you know, comes out I guess what is it tomorrow, right? So Wednesday. Yes, it's, yeah, it's soon. It's, so it's out tomorrow, so so that I'm sure will be something that people are showing off. But uh, but yeah, any other Turkey Day surprises from you that you know of that has been fun over your? No, got, you know, I got a surprise it's, for you guys what do you got? actually. What's, what's Another that? game that the audience requested that we play. <laughs> you you yeah. it out. A little game called Cod Blops. Awesome. Cod also Blops. known as Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know how to play that game. Right, you should come over and play with us right. then. Thanks, G. Yep, no worries. All right, here we go. We're just finalizing our classes real quick. Stop finalizing your classes real quick. Tyler, I'm looking at you. Can we, I don't know if we can get a close-up on this, but Tyler, show your, your special blop glove. <laughs> here you go, Ryan. That's Player a special you, blopping glove. <laughs> Where is it yes. every time? He does. He can't blop without it. Some Nuketown? Yeah, we're going to play a little free-for-all on Nuketown. This is, um, you know, it, it's been out for a little while, but people, they wrote into us and they said, hey, I want you guys to play Call of Duty Black Ops. I want to see what you guys are all about. Have you guys played the split player, player four screen? When Chris was doing the review, actually. Yes, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Was it rad or was it hard because yeah, the no, audio it was, or it was fun. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Lots of good shooting of each other. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some audio coming through one of these channels so we <laughs> know. Or, you know, we'll just uh, do a lot of screen cheating. I know how to that'll be that. without audio. Look I inversion. forgot to mention the only rule is you can't invert the y axis. Too late. Oh, no. You guys are going to get the better of me then. You uh, can invert, you can do it real quick. Nuketown, which is a map designed to kill people. Oh, Speaking oh, of. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you and your second chance. I don't think so. Where are you fools? I want to I want to murder some. I'm in a house with some very friendly people. Oh no. I got shot and I'm dead. You wanted to murder, but see, there's a difference between wanting to and actually doing it. You're gonna have to bridge that gap sometime, Sean. That's fair. No, don't you? In the pack. Yeah, I was trying to catch up and do a stab, stab. In the a little, face. Little stabby you, stab. You guys know how that is. You like overcommit to the stab, and then you just end up dying in shame and ignominy. Who was that that let me run up to him, almost stab him, and then didn't? That, that, was that you, might Sean. have been. That might. That was. That was me. <laughs> that was all. I wasn't gonna Aww. let you stab me, sucker. That's pretty you awesome. shot me from a shrubbery. I have a strict anti-stabbing policy the, when it I, comes to knives entering my body. For, for for the many fans that I have out there, I am the top right portion of the screen. I'm the bottom I'm right. People. I'm whichever one has the most kills. Which may or may not be the truth. I'm the one with the sweet glove. <laughs> You're the one hiding in some shrubbery. That was me. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I see somebody. Oh, you son of a bitch. Did you go? Oh. What is up with me missing on the- Oh! oh! You like that? I know what you look like oh, now, Sean. Sorry, sucker. <laughs> oh. You ain't never gonna find me. I'm gonna shameful. blend in with these mannequins. Do it. Oh, that's you blending in with oh. this ladder over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, not me. Oh, wasn't you? You got stabbed right in the, in the bits. Check me out. I'm just standing next to this lady. I'm not a bad guy. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm just pretending to be a mannequin. Oh. Moving around. <laughs> Holding a gun and crouching slightly. <laughs> Those are the best mannequins. Oh no. Alright. This one's this one's for keeps, guys. I'm not messing around anymore. No! How many other maps are there? A hundred. Like a million? Like fifty-three. Like a hundred million? What question is that, Homer? Come on. You should I'm really ask by who's winning. <laughs> Why would you ever want to play on another map besides Newtown? Pretty much. That's the question you should ask yourself, Homer. <laughs> Newtown is kind of where it's at. It's somebody uh, shooting me while I'm shooting somebody else. Don't do that. Oh. Oh, you, look, you got to get That's his one Oh, my God. There were so many ways to die right there. You found Ryan's weakness, bullets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. This glove makes me a little knife crazy. <laughs> oh. Well, it's your murder glove. bedroom cam. There's a reason they sell it as the murder glove. Oh no! There's fire. Now, I have to admit, I've been playing a lot of Halo Reach lately, so it's kind of a jarring transition. Not being able to fly away on a jetpack anytime you I want play, to. You do the map or not pack being thing? able to jump buildings. No yeah. map pack? Did you try that? Yep, I, I did try that. Is it awesome or what? It looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, who, oh, who was that? Okay. 
The glove is working for it, I can feel it. Oh yeah! Not quite, you're still in the lead. That's the noise oh, you make no. when you want to evade bad guys. Nope, missed it. Oh no! Got murderized. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Tell him. Oh. Oh my god, what do you think? I can tell when I kill Ryan because he's, he's won the last game. Or whatever it's called in this game. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh ba 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 booyah! I did not make it to this. I did not make it to the safety of the garage. No, you did not. Yeah. This is actually awesome, 4 screen split play. What most people don't realize is that this is what real world is The best is part like. is how you keep calling it four screen split player. I'm sorry, what, what did I say? <laughs> four player four split screen screen. Sorry. split player. Well, it's see. late. Population four. It words. I'm looking for turkeys. Oh, I stabbed you right in your throat. That's like the worst place to get stabbed. Oh. Except for like the brain. I don't know, have you ever been stabbed in the... Oh, three Are we going to play have you ever been stabbed, stabbed in, in again? Stabbed in <laughs> <laughs> Being stabbed in Cleveland Somebody, is a bad I think, place just to get pulled, Oh no, am I, am I winning still or no? I think I am. Oh, hello, person just ran right past me. Oh, hello. You get shot in the back. I need people. Oh, God. Speaking of shooting in the back. Oh, no way. Why you gotta hop away, dude? Hey, Chris! Hey, in the background. What? Hold on. I, I, I hear, I hear oh, pop no. music going on <laughs> over there. Oh. What? What's going on over there? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. I hear dancing. I, I hear dancing with you. Yes. What is it? We're trying to murder people jazz. and you guys are dancing <laughs> to sleep. It's Michael Jackson time! Michael Jackson time! <laughs> Michael Jackson time. I mean, Chris. I, I'm love, I love me some cod blocks, but you guys are, you know. I can't go all the way around on my <laughs> Abandon, <laughs> Abandoned cod it's blocks. It's a little too aggressive here. I'm, I'm just gonna hide in the truck and get stabbed. And then, uh, now there's gonna be a bonus kill for whoever can find me. <laughs> Alright, Chris. You're being beckoned. Chris going? What is going on over here? There's a tug of war. <laughs> oh my goodness. goodness. I don't want to stand in the dance I can't radius. turn around because Come I got stuck in the smooth moves. Extra time. This is excellent. You've got <laughs> skills. <laughs> so what we're looking at here is Michael Jackson, the experience. If you hadn't guessed by the music and the gloves and the sweet dance moves. We got it for the Wii here. And uh... <laughs> They're getting into it. This is fun stuff. So you can see Oops. on screen we got the two choreographed dancers. You mimic in their moves. You sort of see the little cues coming up the left and right side of the screen for each player. <laughs> so Kevin, you're Michael. And Julie, she's Paul McCartney. Julie is Paul McCartney. That's you're one of the most epic dance-offs in dance history. Jackson versus McCartney. Oh yeah. <laughs> when I think dancers, I think McCartney. <laughs> there you go, guys. So, in case you folks are wondering, it does include the glove. Okay, I'm going to turn around and get stuck in my mic anyway. The glove warning? It includes the glove, but there is a warning about the glove. Is that in the manual here, Ricardo? So packed in with the limited edition of this game is not just the glove, but also a warning that that thing is really slippery. Girl is mine. Am, I do, am I doing this right? I can't tell if I'm doing this right or not. Keep up the good work, McGinnis. She's mine. She's mine. Oh. It's your time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing the move I learned in Dance Central. <laughs> Just throw knocking at the camera behind you, Sean. You'll be all good. Okay. Oh, I think I told you. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> you guys got tangled up. Don't just don't move. Or just keep dancing. No, to dancing never me. takes precedent. She said she couldn't love another. Is that what she said? Yeah, she said it. You keep dreaming. I don't believe in <laughs> Alright, you know. Hey, nice work! That was good! That was beautiful! Stuff. Oh, look, there's my wife. Song. Song. The audience is demanding one more song, and by the audience, I mean Homer behind the camera. <laughs> so, so, Chris, I think Chris takes my place.
Thriller. I'm gonna step in. Let's use Thriller. Now, I'd Thriller, like to point yes. out that the packaging says do not wear the glove while you play. We'll wear it on but your opposite hand. Oh, hello. Okay. Something goes off my mic. There we go. All right, Detach. just, uh, you know, the most thrilling part of any live presentation, the microphone switch. <laughs> so right. we had requests for Thriller. There it is. Do we see that it says Inhuman and Hard it at the top matter. here? That's fine. I only danced to Inhuman songs. I'll be a backup dancer. Because, like, I, human I movements are just too restricting for me. You want to break out I of your I need to human. bend my limbs in ways that humans can't. You might not want to look directly at the screen for this next part, folks. <laughs> it, it, does this work like it does in 13 going on 30, where we all just magically know how to do this? Yes, absolutely. Inhuman. Can you do the inhuman one? Let's switch places. All right. And switch controllers. All right. This is how I play the organ. We got our zombie backups. I think yeah. I'm one awesome. of you as well. Do, do you want us to dance, or do you want us to just, like, shamble? I think start with some shambling okay. and then break into dancing when you deem it artistically <laughs> appropriate would probably be the best. See, see, this is clearly the shamble part. Bring it up, video game. I want to dance. You sound like zombie Richard. Oh wait! wait. Oh, oh, look zombie. at this. Kevin, sing. It's hard to sing it. So this is the Oh, looks you right between the eyes. You're paralyzed. Oh, is this the part where we catch our breaths? Go back no. to shambling for a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. You guys don't realize this, but I'm actually a classically trained zombie dancer. Years of perfecting the shamble. That's right. I'm disappointed you didn't wear your tattered wardrobe today, Sean. Or my red leather jacket. That's usually your Wednesday thing, not a Tuesday. Have this dance take place in the parking garage? <laughs> Which one of us is Vincent Price? Oh, oh, I think I hurt my back. Hey, so while these guys are dancing in the background, we have some trivia prizes to give away. Nintendo is providing three copies of Golden Sun packaged with a Nintendo DS extra large as well as a little bag. So it's actually a really cool prize. <laughs> But you have to answer five questions. And I'm going to have the five questions here for you. And the first three people to answer all five questions correctly will win one of these prizes. So first question, what are the four elements of the, of the Golden Sun universe? So that's question number one. And then the next set of questions, what is the first oh. gin that oh, Isaac gets? Oh, sorry to interrupt, Sophia. Keep sorry. it down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're just <laughs> People want to win their trivia prizes. Right, so we're just pouring our hearts and souls into the <laughs> That's all that's happening. Jeez. Okay. 
third question. Which lighthouse does Mia watch over? Okay, that was the third question. Okay, fourth question. Who was presumed dead at the beginning of Golden Sun? And finally, last question. What are the people who use Synergy called? So those are the five questions. Be sure to send them at onthespot at gamespot.com so you have a chance of winning three cool prizes. And be sure to watch uh, the Now Playing Tomorrow. Disney Epic Mickey will be showing at 4 p.m. Oh, God. <laughs> Back to these guys. <laughs> I call them spirit hands. I'm sorry, guys. We are. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh oh. Nope. Oh, no, no. I don't know. This is, this song is actually 47 minutes long. Oh, oh my god. This, this is the entire album, isn't it? Restriction. Fun. That was exhausting. After you ate? After yeah, after I partook in the big Thanksgiving feast. That was probably a bad idea, but you know, I don't regret it. Not even a little bit. Yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember Disney Epic Mickey now playing tomorrow with Warren Spector at 4 p.m. And uh, we're gone for the rest of Thanksgiving break, so make sure you guys come back next week for our regularly scheduled today on the spot right. programming. Happy Thanksgiving. So long everybody. Thanks for watching.